Hi Flosstube, it's Mary back again already. Um, I know I just made my last video recently and I'm already back. So hopefully there's no unspoken rule about that. But I wanted to make one tonight because it is April 1st. Happy April Fool's Day. Did you get pranked? Did somebody prank you? Did they get you? Um, I can never think of anything, but one of these days I'm going to think of, of something good. Get my family. Um, so I wanted to just get like on track and try to make a video for like the beginning of every month and with my whip and, um, and also I was going to do stash. So I wanted to get that done and then it's done. Although I realized, um, when I was getting this stuff out for this video that I must have another box somewhere with more stash. Um, cause there's a couple unfinished projects and patterns that I know I have and they're not in my box. So somewhere there's another treasure chest waiting for me to open and find. So that's always exciting. So again, I'm hiding from my kids while they're watching a movie. And I'm hiding in my bedroom again. So here's my, now this is like weird, but okay. So here's my current whip. Again, I don't get to stitch uh, very much. So my progress is very slow. Um, let me see. This is a mess because of the way that the fabric is. Hopefully you can see kind of like what is going on with this. Um, this is the Beauty and the Beast. Not very well prepped, but it's the Beauty and the Beast um, Kincaid photo that I'm working on, and it's um, it is get, it's coming along. I started the little hot air. I guess it's like a hot air balloon kind of flying machine that Belle's father flies in the sky. Um, as you can see right here, the hot air balloon, but again, this kit is just killing me because the back stitching for this, the color that it wants to me is like not the right color because it's the same color as the darker thread as the darker floss right there. So obviously it doesn't show up. The edging shows up, you know, against the sky, but what's the point, you know? Um, if you can't see it on the whole thing. So now I'm kind of like, I'm trying to pull that out and I think I'm going to try to go a little bit darker because on the picture of the finished pattern, um, it looks really dark. I mean, you can see it really well and it's supposed to like, you know, show all the parts of the balloon. And <clears throat> so this kit is just, um, I don't know. It's, it's weird to me, this whole, this whole kit and the fabric hasn't come yet. I'm still waiting on that. It's been about a month, I think, that I contact the, that I heard back from the company and they haven't contacted me yet. I mean, they haven't sent it to me yet. So, you know, it's probably that whole like four to six weeks thing, you know. Don't call us, we'll call you. Okay, so I promised a stash video um, of what I can find. So that's what this mostly is. However, I found some more unfinished product projects because I have a ton of unfinished products. When it comes to cross stitching, I'm fairly positive I'm ADD. Um, probably ADD and a lot of other things in my in my life, but definitely cross stitching is a huge one for me. So um, I will show you this one that I found, and it's almost done. I love this. Isn't this gorgeous? I don't even know if it's showing up. There we go. And looking at it, it's kind of funny. I think I might have done it the wrong um, <laughs> the wrong direction instead of this way, but it fit, I fit it. So I just have a little bit left here of the sky to do, and then I think I'll be ready to frame it. And this will definitely be one that I frame, because you know, it's Kincaid. And I love Kincaid, and I just, and I've did, done most of the back stitching because I usually back stitch as I go along. I know that's not considered like the right way to do it. This is what we do. So I love that one. Um, couldn't tell you the name of it offhand unless I find the packaging, but it's, you know, Harbor Coast Lighthouse kind of thing. And this one that I actually had on my last video, but it got cut off somehow in the middle. I don't know what happened. So I want to show you this one because I really want to finish this and frame it too. And my sister gave this for, to me for Christmas many years ago, and it's called Angry Bluebird. I don't know if you've seen the photograph that this is based off of, but there is a photograph that is adorable. If you Google it, Angry Bluebird, it's so cute. Um, so I'm almost done with that. And I think I just kind of probably got bored when I was doing the 
the post there and um, stopped. But he's almost done. So he can be angry on my wall once I get him finished and framed. So those are close to being done. Okay, so I'm going to show you some of the stuff in my stash that some of which I've started to stitch and some of which I have not started to stitch. Most of which I have not started to stitch. eBay was my best friend back in my early 20s and I bought all sorts of things and spent way more money than I ever want to know how much I spent. And one of the things I would do is go on eBay and look for decent kits, you know, decent sized kits or patterns that people were getting rid of and were cheap, cheaper than buying new. And so I would just collect ones that, you know, that I liked of those. So I didn't necessarily, you know, pick out like that one pattern kind of thing. <clears throat> this one, I love, I love, I love, I love. It's a, the Circle of Life and it's a DMC, is it Gold Collect, Ultimate Collection it's called. And it's stitched on navy, Ada, and which I've never done black or navy. I've always done white or cream. I think so, yeah. So isn't it cute? It's so cute. I'm sure I would get bored of the white after a while. I'm going to make myself finish some other things first, but I will do it one day. I think it's adorable. Um, oh, I found all these old pictures in the same box with my old stash. All these old, like, Disney memories. Oh my gosh. Now I have to go through it. It's like a huge pile of uh, times that I spent at Epcot. So, like, I'm, like, eager to, like, look through them. Um... This is one of exotic birds that I got because of the cockatiels because at one time I was going to stitch it for my sister and um, I don't, oh maybe it's this one, that one, uh, I think it's like causing a glare. I have no idea where that glare is coming from. That is the weirdest thing. It's a ghost. Um, But I don't think probably I'm going to do it. So it may be something that I'm going to have to clear some of these out, you know, that I may never do. <clears throat> Archway to Avalon. Garden. Kind of think of it kind of like a, a beautiful garden. And um, again, you know, you buy these and then some of them I guess you get to. And some of them you don't. This one I really want to do. Because it's so, it's, I love it. I just love it. The Leopard. Sheba the Leopard. I mean, it looks like a photograph isn't it? It's amazing. Amazing photograph. And now, of course, I'm looking at the back at like all these other patterns that this same company puts out. Who is this? Near North Treasures Collection? Is that the designer? I don't know. Again, it's something I would have just picked up on eBay many a year ago. Um, but wow. I forgot about this one and now I'm like looking at it like, oh, maybe I need to start it, but I don't. Because I have way too many things in progress to do. Marty Bell, which I like Marty Bell, but he, I don't think that's really my style anymore. The, I love the little English cottages and all, but I just don't know if it's my style anymore. But it's, it's really sweet, isn't it? I know there's a lot of fans of Marty Bell out there. What else do I have? Another Marty Bell, English Cottage. Again, there's the Phantom Glare. I can't imagine that the overhead light is doing that. Yeah, that's just totally weird. Friendship favorites. Uh, Stony, no, Leisure Arts. Um, to, to stitch his gifts. But I've never done, I don't think, gifts. Stitch gifts. And I think it's the coolest thing. I think it's the neatest idea. Um, but I've never actually given anything. I think once I made a bookmark for like a roommate in college or something and then I found it in the trash like the next day. So maybe that's why I sort of haven't done that anymore. It was pretty hurtful. At least hide it. You know, if you're going to throw it away, don't put it in the trash where your roommate lives. Put it in the trash in the dumpster where I'll never see it. Next is Mirabilia, which most of you know. I don't really have to show you. It's Sleeping Beauty. And Mirabilia is one that I've had an off and on, off you know, I've loved and then not so much loved. I don't know why. And I had a, um, like I had a thing for them and I love them and I was really intimidated to stitch them because of the beadwork and the even weave, which I've never tried. And um, 
I remember years ago seeing a full size design done in a local stitch shop. And it was just the most gorgeous thing ever. I don't know if it was a Christmas one. I remember she had a red dress on, a fairy or an angel. And I mean, she was just so gorgeous. And so I was like, well, you know, so I bought this one, never did it. I was gonna clear it out a couple times. Now that I'm watching Floss Tube and I'm seeing all of your gorgeous Mirabilia designs in progress and finishes and um, I'm just like totally in awe and totally in love. And I need to do one. I may not do this one. I may have to buy, again, I may buy one of the mermaids. But still, again, the beads and the even weave seem intimidating to me. So, one day, one day, one day, one day. That one, is that not the same one? No, it's not the same one, but it's another birdie one. Parakeets. And cocktails. And all that fun stuff. Um... This one is an, a favorite of mine. This is Stony Creek, Let the Music Play, you know, various designs. But the one I was working on was this one. It's music notes and this is staff and different composers, um, Bach, Mozart, Brahms, those good guys. Uh, and I love it. And that's why I say I know I have another box somewhere with more things because it's not in here. So hopefully it's around somewhere and there's a couple others too that I know should be in here. Um, so that is my April video. I'm going to make myself not make any more until May. And hopefully I'll have more um, updates on the Beauty and the Beast. Because here's March for now. And then I'm going to try to get back into my Victorian house. Because some of you said that you loved the Victorian house. And I didn't even show you a very good close-up of it. So next time I'll try to show you a close-up so you can really see the detail. And hopefully I'll get some done on that. Um, those kind of artisty, you know, patterns, really intricate patterns, um, it's hard to pick those back up after a while, don't you think? Because, like, finding what page you were on, and I didn't mark it where I, you know, had stopped too well, and, um, yeah, it's a lot harder than just picking up a little pattern and getting back into it, but once you're into it, then, it's, you know, you can go pretty good, so I'm actually really looking forward to getting back into that one, that one was slow going uh, because of all the confetti, but um, it was actually easier than this Beauty and the Beast one just because it was, it's laid out like it's supposed to be laid out, if that makes sense. So anyway, have a great April. I am going to go on now and look at all of your whips for Wednesday and watch lots of Foss Tube. And I will see you guys around. Have fun stitching.